Hi everyone, Wendy and Les here. Hello, and where are we today, Wendy? St. Stephen. St. Stephen. Yes. Right on the border with the USA. Yes, so we came here uh, to show a few homes to a client. Um, as you know, we're licensed realtors with uh, Royal LePage Atlantic. So we thought we'd do a little video here. Um, look at that, a home there. If that isn't haunted, I, I'll eat my bonnet. St. Stephen is definitely a character-filled town. It, uh, as we mentioned, it's right on the border with Maine. Uh, the river separates uh, Canada from the U.S. here. I think it's called the St. Croix River. Whether it's pronounced that way or not, I couldn't tell you. But uh, on the other side in Maine, the town there is called Calais, which, as far as I'm concerned, should be pronounced Calais because it is named after a uh, city in France. But we get our pronunciations wrong all the time. So feel free to correct as you always do. <laughs> and this is a beautiful little town, another affordable town. We showed you Sussex the other day. Uh, this is a uh, very similar size, about 4,500 people. Tons and tons of characters, some beautiful older homes, some of them well kept, some of them not so much. But with the prices rising throughout the province in the main cities, uh, these are great alternatives for people, especially first time buyers or retirees looking uh, for a more affordable home. And this uh, town of St. Stephen also has a lot of services, including a hospital. I think we've mentioned before that uh, New Brunswick, from what we've read, has the most uh, hospitals per capita of any province in Canada. So a town of 4,500 still has its own hospital. Look at the cute little homes, cute little area. We're gonna show you the waterfront if we can. And there's a whole trail system by the waterfront. It's very quaint and very cute. When we are done with this video, we're gonna take our pooch down for a little walk along yeah. that waterfront trail. It's beautiful. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a really nice town. It's about an hour from, uh, maybe a little over an hour from St. John. And uh, borders the U.S. of A. We're going to see that bridge just momentarily. That bridge is the border. Yes. So we're going to call it the St. Croix River. See that bridge over there? That is the bridge you cross to get to the States. And so that is the border. So lots of green space when it's not covered in snow, little benches we just saw. The river is beautiful. It's a tidal river. The homes are full of character. And the, uh, the, the thing that St. Stephen is known the most for, I think, is the Ganong Chocolate Factory. Mm. They have a chocolate museum here. So there's the border crossing. I'm just gonna open up my window so you can see it when we go past. And so these are all little storefronts. It's a holiday today, so it's family day. So none of these businesses are open, but it's super cute in the summertime. Uh, the walkability here is just amazing. Are you gonna show the little walkway by the river? I think so. Oh, it's so cute. We, again, we don't know a lot about St. Stephen. We've been here a couple of times to cross the border, but uh, we do like to show things. And so right there across the river, that is the United States of America. It sure is. And so right across there, uh, you have a lot of shopping as well. Like there's a big Walmart there. That we used to go to when before COVID. We used to head there all the time, do a little bit of shopping. And the river is not frozen, which I assume is because it's tidal. It's, uh, it's definitely flowing right now. And I'm not sure where the walking trail is. I well, think that's this it is there. It here, yeah. and then it, it hugs to the right up here. So lots of uh, outdoor activities. That's the trail, yeah. And although it says it's closed, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> so you're seeing both the, the Canada side and the, we just showed you the U.S. side. Uh, it's, a, it's not the busiest town in the world, especially now because there hasn't been a lot of border crossings. Uh, but uh, 
when the borders open, when tourist season is going, this is a happening place. There's, uh, I believe, a Pickaroons brew pub here, which we love in St. John. Yes. Oh, there's the chocolate museum right there. Yes. That's Look at that architecture as well. Fantastic. And look at that building next to it, which is the, oh, it's a member of parliament office. Wow. Very nice. And here you have the uh, waterfront park with the, with the uh, whatever you want to call that, the gazebo, bandstand, uh, playground for the kids. Yes. And you're looking at the United States over there across the river. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Follow along here. This is kind of, uh, I believe it's called Milltown Boulevard. It's kind of the main drag along the old part of the town, along the waterfront. Scoops Ice Cream Parlor, we just passed. There's the city hall or town hall, I guess it is. And now we're going to go up into the commercial area. Unfortunately, we didn't get the light. <laughs> Look at that waterfront pizza delight. I know, right? <laughs> it doesn't get much more New Brunswick than that. Yeah. <laughs> so I think uh, there is no Walmart, as Wendy, I think, sort of alluded to uh, in St. Stephen, but right across the border in Calais, there is a big Walmart. So it's, and of course, if you happen to, uh, if you happen to live here, uh, you can cross the border to get your gas and your milk and your cheese and your bread and save a whole bunch of money that way. So that was the library that we just passed. And there's, uh, I think, a community center right over there. Thrift store. Some really nice old buildings. And there's quite a few uh, re uh, retirement type homes here, like condos and apartments close to the water. Or an active retirement lifestyle. There's a little motel there. Look at those the houses. So cute. Home health pharmacy. Now we're going to get into the, uh, the more commercial part of the, the town. I keep wanting to say city, but it's a town. And of course, very friendly people here. And a Timmy's. Yeah, I want to see... Uh, I can't remember myself what exactly they have here for services. It's been a couple of years since we were here. We did cross the border here to go to Bar Harbor, Maine, which is a beautiful uh, port town in Maine. Yes. I think the cruise ships pass off there too, don't they? They do, indeed. Oh, here's a diner. Harmons. And a Kent, which Pretty much in every town in New Brunswick. Kent is owned by the Irving family, but it's a home improvement store. And what else we got? Barber shops. We've got uh, some stationery stores, a superstore. So a good size, large superstore, Atlantic superstore. So no problem getting your main groceries here at all. You've got a couple of motels. And after you are finished grocery shopping, you stop in at DQ for a blizzard. <laughs> oh, and they have a giant tiger here as well, a Jean Coutu. That is a huge, um, you know, drugstore type of chain here, Canadian Tire. They have... Yeah, Canadian Tire, Dollarama, so you got all the things that you're going to want or need. And if you do need anything else, you're only an hour away from St. John. So I'm going to go around so that they have an information uh, center there if you're just visiting the area and big schools you got everything you want oh liquor yes <laughs> that's where your uh, New Brunswick liquor store is not sure if they have a cannabis one or not but and what else have we got yeah so you've got the uh, you get the idea. Yeah, you've got pretty much everything you need here. As long as there's a hospital and major shopping, then you know, you're pretty much good to go. Um, you can always drive into St. John for your Costco runs. Um, but you will get some of the friendliest people you would hope to meet in St. Stephen. And it is an up and coming uh, town, 
right on the border with Maine. What more could you ask for? Yeah. So, uh, St. Stephen's really, really cute, but we're city folk, so um, we love showcasing all the little towns around uh, southern New Brunswick. Um, but in our hearts, we still love St. John. So have a great day. <laughs>